Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Super Mario World 2 Plus 3, The Essence Star. Okay, what am I doing back in Slipslide Mountain? Well, it turns out I missed a little Easter egg when you go on this little square right here. In Slipslide Mountain, the cave part, when you see that little square, you jump on top of it, and you'll find some invisible coin blocks. You'll also find a 1-up, of course, and a piranha plant, but more importantly, a pipe. Whoops, blooper 2. Let's take a look and see what it is. Another Easter egg. There's a Ouija and he steps on a banana. He's planking, yet levitating at the same time. Yep, that was the entire Easter egg. Walks on banana peel, planks in midair, that's it. Okay, why don't we go back to Slippery Fitness? Now that I got the Truth Orb, I'm bound to find something else here. What you want to do is, well, go over this way, go on this platform, go to the left, and you'll see this pipe. Now we'll just go down it and see what we can find. Apparently there's an item. You found the Frost Ring. With this item, Mario will avoid slipping around in icy areas. Talk about a pretty neat item, now the ice doesn't make me slip. This is going to make the rest of this world a lot easier. Okay, now let's go to Lake Frigidity. I don't think we've been there yet. Watch out! The water in this lake is very cold. Don't stay in it too long, or you're bound to get harmed. I'll be the judge of that- okay, that penguin was right. I always thought it would be a good idea to trust penguins that wear slacks. I have learned my lesson. As soon as you jump out of the water, you'll get your meter back up. So apparently Mario, even though he holds the power of fire in his hands, really hates hypothermia. As anybody should. Hypothermia sucks. Not that I would know, because I never had it. And I could have, like, used that shell to get what was over there. Oh, too late now. So I don't think there was another Koopa around, and there isn't. I think it was just, like, a P-Switch or something that allowed me to get those coins over there. I think that's all it was. That's too bad. I could have used more coins. Even though I have over 600, yeah, I might want to get up to land now. Okay, good. Well, that was just another flower. In case I got hurt with the meter running out. We Checkpoint! Ah, oh, Mario 2 fish! A uh, Trouty or something? I forget the name. Mario 2 wasn't exactly a memorable game. Well, it did have good memories. The enemies themselves were not memorable. Well, maybe Shy Guys and Sniffits and whatnot. But that was it. It was just a game that wasn't meant to be a Mario game. Though it really, really wasn't. But you get the idea. Oh, thank God for air pockets that end up me giving me a concussion. Yep, let's see, uh, hypothermia or concussion and brain damage. That's a tough decision there. I'll take that. Oh, spikes. We. That slide sucked. I want my money back, even though I paid no money whatsoever. I'll take your money. Thank you. I'm Mario, I always want your money. Okay, there's the end of the level. That was simple enough. It wasn't a hard level at all. Okay, now both paths leave the tip of the iceberg. I assume this is the last stage of the ice world. Uh, some peaceful music. I like it. I assume the level will be anything... But peaceful. Look, there's bats right off the bat. No pun intended. Whoa, boomerang brother. Okay, I see what they did there. Let me go this way. 
What's over here? Uh, looks like I can't get up there. Okay, I see what they did there. It looks like some kind of puzzle that involved me, like, turning the water into ice and the ice into water. I'll probably have to do that frequently. But how frequently, I don't know. That's the scary part. Killing bats, however, is never scary. In fact, it's a lot of fun. I recommend you try that once you spew fire out of your arms. Or your hands. Or your ass. I don't care wherever you spew fire. Just go to a bat cave and let her rip. You'll have lots of fun. And probably a good source of food, too. Anyways, let's just go. Uh, I'm gonna need this crate. They wouldn't put me here for no reason. Or would they? Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm gonna need that crate on the ice so I can get to that pipe. But I wonder, do I need to get the pipe first or the trampoline first? Let's find out. Let's see, pipe or trampoline? Ah, okay, obviously it's gonna be the pipe. I don't have a say in the matter, apparently. Oh, great, now I got skeleton fish. I assume I have to avoid them. Eh, nice little parkas. I want one of them! Okay, now I can get to the trampoline. I assume I have to go all the way back to, like, the first part. That would make a lot of sense. So I did recall seeing a switch that was out of reach. It's all coming together now. As it should. There we go. Now I can go in here. I don't need a mushroom, but I'll take it anyway, because I'm greedy. Okay, I need a crate. Let's see. I can push the crate to get to that door. What else is here? Hmm, looks like I can't get to the crate at all. Unless... Wait a minute. I got it, I got it. I think I'm gonna have to go in the water first. Is there a way to reset the puzzle? Because I think I figured it out. Hey, Ninji! Die, Ninji! You are now my money. Okay, that's what I'm gonna need this for. There we go. Can I push this back down? What if it leads somewhere else? Because I won't need this crate here anymore. it would be best served here. Let's see if I got the right idea. I should. Aha! Ah! So I can still get to the crate. But I need this to be ice. Wait, even if I did get up there and push it right, I don't know if I'd be able to get to the crate from there. It might be encased. Or that corner could get in the way. Uh, but that said, at least I still solved the puzzle. I hope. Nope, that's only half of it. Wait a minute. What do we have here? Someone was foolhardy enough to scale this treacherous iceberg. As you can see, I'm always one step ahead of you. Oh, Mouser! Take care of this pest, pronto! Mouser? Pfft, please. Mouser? Of all the bosses you can stick on me, Kamek, Mouser? Oh gee, what am I supposed to do? These bombs I can easily carry and just throw back at him. Oh my god. He's really giving me quite a fight. And for some reason I held up like a dumbass. 
There. You found a shard! <laughs> Final Fantasy victory music. Look at me! Look what happened! Who the heck are you? Well, I think the more appropriate question is, what the heck are you? Who am I? I'm your friend from before! Really? The new look doesn't suit you. Shut up! I did your dirty work, and I got caught! He turned me into this ugly creature! Does this mean you didn't get it? What do you think? No? I don't believe this. I send you to do one simple task, and you can't fulfill it. You are truly pathetic. I'm pathetic? Why didn't you just do it yourself, then? Because I don't blend in with your kind. I figured you'd be capable of pulling it off without getting caught. Well, you thought wrong. Whatever. Where's my compensation? Compensation? You didn't fulfill my requirements. You got nothing! You gotta be kidding me, right? Then all this was for nothing? I assume the guy talking in the blue text is Kamek. And the purple text is still mysterious, probably that Roth guy. Don't be mad at me now. Be mad at the one who turned you into that creature, and yourself for being so careless. Just leave me alone. I don't ever want to see you again. Jeez, talk about some issues. But I got one out of five shards, which is a good thing. I have to go look for the rest. Uh, let's go with this ship. Where does it take me? Ah, oh, a desert. Ah, uh, that's Ninja Guided music. Deserted. Okay, so I clearly need a key in order to get the secret exit. But why don't I get the normal exit first so I can scout ahead and find that keyhole? Then I can come back for it later. It's all part of the master plan. That's how I roll. Huh. It's those snakes from Super Mario Land. Didn't think they'd be here. Pokies. This is becoming a little bit more like Mario 2. Well, just enemy-wise. Seeing pokies and whatnot. But wait a minute. Aha! There's something hidden. Okay, so this is now becoming a little bit like Mario 3. Coins! I want the coins! Give me the coins! Give me the coins! Ah, oh, screw you. So it's just a free coin room. Not that I'm complaining, because I like coins. And that's all. Okay, so the keyhole is not here, either. Now I can get even more coins over here! Lince, rinse, r lather, and repeat. I almost choked on two words right there. Welcome to my life. I still don't see the keyhole. Huh, same death animation, too. That's cool. Can't go down any of those pipes. What if I go up here? Oh, and the enemy came back? Oh, that's weird. Ah, there it is. Okay, now I can just head back when I get a key. That's all. Wait. What's down here? There seems to be multiple pads. Makes you wonder if you'll find anything good if you go down a certain one. Well, if there is, I'll come back to it later. Okay, I'm gonna need a P-switch to get over there. Seems so like there's blocks in the way. Ah, there it is. That wasn't hard to find. Star power! Screw those coins over there. I'm in the mood to kill things. Oh, that was just a P-switch wearing off. Hmm. 
And someone tells me I'm gonna need like a block bridge. Yep, or no block bridge. There we go. First exit. Quicksand quandary. All right, let's go buy a key. Had to part with 300 more coins. Unfortunately, but those are the breaks. So far, so good. Alright, now that we got the key, let's head back to the desert that's sandier than a troll's vagina. Yeah, I went there. Alright, now we're gonna head back to deserted. I don't really care about these enemies. Just as they don't care about me. They go through a lot of effort to try to kill me, though. Well, except for that guy. Actually, none of them go through a lot of effort. They just go about their business. As they should. Just leave me alone, and I'll leave them alone. Maybe. Come on, Key. Thank you. Alright, what's the next level? Fire Bro. Eh, I think I'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.